I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site. But this time, I was banning them from life. <laughs> video games, video games. Video games, video games. See what happens. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee. An abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one. The only one who could decipher his secret messages. Hmm. What so you remember these Night Springs episodes from the first game that it was like the Twilight Zone? I think we play some of them in this. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Teleplay by Alan Wake. It's Rose. It's Rose. She's Alan Wake's number one fan, the waitress. Let's see if she has red hair, though. Eh, no, I wouldn't say that's red. Life's a funny thing. Looks gray. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then... Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but that's okay. Your Destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet. You don't really mind how it arrives. Remember she had a whole bunch of posters of Alan Wake in her bedroom when we went to her when we went to her home for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. Yeah, we were playing as her. This is weird. As always, Night Diner was the hottest spot in town. So there was plenty of work to do. This diner looks different because the walls weren't pink when we went there. Assuming this is the same diner. It looks like it, but different. Hi everyone. I turn on the jukebox. Who else wants to up? Me. We gotta get some coffee. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Yeah, so it kind of looks like we're in um, Bright Falls, but maybe in the '60s or something. Well, I don't know. The cheeseburger was not eight ninety nine then. Oh, I gotta go back there and get it. This is just a different version of it, I think, in this Night Springs episode. Optional dispense really good advice. Okay, who needs the really good advice? I want to dispense it. like you do for that writer of yours you two are destined for each other <laughs> we sure are oh good lord who do i give the advice to my corgi is exclusive 
possibly eat food from this guy? Uh, Poppy, I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations! Thanks. It wasn't easy. I don't know who I'm supposed to give advice to. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. I don't want to miss the optional thing, but I don't know who I'm supposed to be giving advice to. Maybe you? Shit, there's two people left. Who needs advice? Uh, maybe you do. You got a bunch of books. Here's your copy. How do you juggle running this diner? Your birth interest. And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. I work extremely hard. But also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck. No wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. This must be the advice. Uh, not with that attitude or stop comparing yourself to me. Not with that attitude. It won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns. So don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, <laughs> That's tough but fair. <laughs> that should be it. Give me it. Is that my... Was that my good advice? I didn't get any credit for that. She said it was tough but fair. Oh, fuck. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I thought it was. But that it didn't say, like, objective complete or anything. No, optional. Was that not the good advice? She seemed to like it. Maybe this guy needs some, too. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Joannes? Who says that? Well, he doesn't want advice. Come on, who wants advice? I got really good advice. That's everyone's God damn it. Better put this pot back. I still have the option to dispense really good advice, but there's nobody else to talk to. Can I go outside? Sir, are you sure you didn't have any uh, questions, ladies? You want me to try that one again? It was tough but fair. What about you guys? No? Sir? Advice? I think I screwed it up. I wonder if it was I just selected the wrong answer. Lady with that ugly green car. That ugly green car out there? Alright. I must have answered that lady wrong. <laughs> this is so cheesy. Sir? Everyone's good on coffee. But they're not good on advice. What about you? Damn it. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my brief spire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent. And flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Shucks. Golly gee, I still have that option up there. So maybe when I bust their tables here, I can get uh, more people that want advice. Guy with that concerning mole. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Tell me everything. She told me her dress I'd like to buy to folks. James and Chuck. But it's what's inside that matters. Uh oh. Right? You need to make an effort. Oh, you still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with like Alan Wake. Buy one. Elbow patch. <laughs> oh, elbow patches are the key. They elbow patches. Everybody needs them. If you want to be in a successful relationship, elbow patches. Is not Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. I 
I saw on the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. All right. What about you want more advice? Ryder lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. Jeez. I'm still not getting this advice thing. I better take these plates back to the service window. You don't put dirty dishes where the clean food is. This must be it. You don't put dirty dishes where the clean food comes from. That was improper right there. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <laughs> I'll grab you a copy from the back. I lost that other... I lost it. I must not have done it. This guy's creeping me out, though. I don't know if it's the mustache. It's the mustache. Well, I guess I didn't offer enough good advice. I think I gave some pretty good answers. Employee of the Decade. I like how they're not calling her by her name in this. We all know it's Rose. Look at this. She's carrying him. That's friggin' hilarious. Oh, is this not where I get the book? Oh, your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. All right, do I still not bring that guy a book, or is that what got me to come in here? Yeah, that that went away, so I'm assuming... I'm assuming uh, that was just to get me back there. Holy shit. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. We're going to be freaking firing at enemies with her. That's pretty sick. So we got a rifle. I trust you. Oh no, that's a shotgun. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. That's a rifle. My bolt action I know. It's great. Just walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. Take the accessories. Was finally ready for a night out on the town. Can I take that? Danger. The crossbow? There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Thank you. Everybody's dancing. Nice, Scott. Find anything good? The boat yard is this way. <laughs> you better hurry. Go through the boat yard. It's the shortest. Lady with the purse I like. What's her name? Where the hell's the boat yard? This way? Nope. I know. Isn't this great? 
They're all cheering. She's the hero of the town. Love him. Save him. Nothing can stop the power of love. This is great. I like how they're just called the writer and the waitress. One waitress plus one writer equals four ever. We're going to save literature, don't you worry. I was leaving my life behind like a body in a lake so nobody finds it. Damn. Still got her pen. Guess we need to take any orders in here, I guess. So is this guy friendly? No. Who the heck is that? I knew there was somebody with red hair. Oh, it's Alan Wake, the bad boy. Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in the shadows. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change... You can move in together, and I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for This is kids. phenomenal. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, be <laughs> Yeah, that's what they say. What did you do to him? <laughs> I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe. I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops them from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have love or I have a shotgun? I think the I have love will probably give us the funniest answer. I have the power of love. Oh, is that right? Well, you're going to need more than your feelings if you want to stop all of us. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Only a monster I don't have a flashlight, so I think I'm just fighting. Zombies, perhaps? Shotguns fully automatic fire? Jesus. It's bullets o'clock. This is outstanding. It's bullets o'clock. Perfect. <laughs> I'm almost dead, though. I might have to do this one again. Alright. I used a shitload of bullets. How do I heal? Because I don't think... Oh, she does. Alright. 
Oh, wait a minute. I got an explosive gas canister I can throw? Oh. Uh. Let's equip. Let's equip that. I want to see how that works. Oh, it already is. Jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Down, okay. Like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. Dude, that was awesome. Whoops. Gotta put more bullets in. <laughs> It's bullets o'clock, and she has this extreme rapid... Oh, shit. They're insulting him. His pacing is a mess. <laughs> right on, Scott. I hope you do. The fan in shining armor. That's right. How did he ever get published? <laughs> they're, they're, they're insulting him. His pacing is a mess. How did he ever get published? This is this is amazing. Wow, we're getting a lot of shotgun bullets. I have 154. The twins' motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The, the music's great, too. Right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books solving the case with my wits all i needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse awesome scott this is great whoever thought this up is a genius I don't know if the fire would hurt me if I walk on it. Haters. haters. They're haters. Let's try one of these things. Throw it! I can't throw it. Oh. Okay. Yahtzee. She does need her own game. This is outstanding. I'm assuming... I'm assuming this was over big time whenever this first came out. It had to have been. That was great. I ate my spinach this morning. That that that's like half of the entertainment of this is her dialogue. <laughs> These are haters. His books make me feel dumb. Anything back here? Yeah, or she gets stuff other ways, you know, like 
tickets, uh, interviews. Ah, oh, I missed that line. Something about confusing endings. I want to know what that was. That he has confusing endings. That's funny. I missed it. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? He must be waiting until our third or fourth date. Surrounded by candles. So he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking the brother's supposed to... <laughs> I'm guessing the twin brother is supposed to represent Mr. Scratch in this. Yeah, like, they're going down a lot faster in this than I was in the regular game. I'm, I'm hoping the shotgun's like this in the regular game, but somehow I doubt it. That's true, Scott. They probably just made it crazy for this, which is awesome. I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site. But this time, I was banning them from life. <laughs> this is, this is like her being on the internet all day. Arguing with people that don't like what she likes. Motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my writer inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little writer? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail writer and I require aid. <laughs> He's I'm just a frail writer and I require aid. <laughs> yeah, this is hilarious. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. Life is not unlike a highway. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. <laughs> Indestructible TV. You cock. What's up, Nelson? And then once I we're we're in the main game, we're playing as Alan Wake right now, but we we you? took a little uh, sidebar here. my writer then he calls him a tea drinker he had crossed the line i was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime torture ideas for hack brother car car battery solid potential pulling fingernails too messy the bell where do i get a bell blunt spoon nice and simple Dismantle typewriters, A-plus psychological damage, gasoline or fire, fire might burn my cabin down, maybe overcomplicating this. He made a list. Said he was down at the beach. Oh, that's the door. Hmm. 
Oh my god, look at this sign. Not this beach. This beach. <laughs> this is outstanding. Yeah, look how much shit I have. Like, they're, they're, they're making sure you don't run out of anything. Which is fine by me. It's a fun DLC. Hey. Me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush he's... your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. What's up, final boss? I hit the wrong button. Damn it. I wanted to hit A. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You are rude. You have no man. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You... No, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> Listen, I never it's colored like the 60s. Fighter. Pastels. I'm just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. My army of haters. The love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> the reload. My gun's hungry. Oh man. Yeah, this game is gorgeous. Look at the blood on her on her outfit. Where'd she go? She's fast. This is crazy. Oh shit. We review bomb all his books. Hater. Oh my god, why does this take an hour to reload? Give me the shotgun back. Yeah, the blood on the camera's nice. Man, I'm hurt again already. It's my favorite part so far, Scott. This is pretty sweet. So, yeah, we're in an episode of that TV show, Night Springs. Is this the same cabin I was in? Or is this a different one? Yeah, it's the same one. Same one. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know how many Night Springs episodes there are in the DLC. It just said you have unlocked the first one, so I'm I got to a certain part in the regular game and it was on a TV, so I'm gonna guess they'll be spread out like that. Where am I going? Follow your bad boy's trail. He disappeared here, but I don't know where he went. I don't have a map. Maybe this way? Yeah, this is the way. Jeez, they're tough. Oh, 
The objective of this is the big fan love of the writer's life, the waitress, has to save him from his evil brother. Yeah, they take a lot of damage in this one. Although the shooting is a lot easier. They're still tough. Yeah, we started off by serving coffee and... Oh, shit. The punishment is the damage! Always. Always. Man, he did, did you see that dump, jump toss he did? Damn, they got good aim. Yeah, I can't shoot half reload. I have to wait till it's fully reloaded. His books are for morons. Yeah, they're all, they're, these are haters of Alan Wake. They've all been shouting insults. His pacing is terrible. His endings make no sense. It's friggin' hilarious. And she's defending it. She's, it. It's like going on Twitter and arguing with people that don't like what you like. Well, that one took one shot. Yeah, they were. I don't know what the difference was on that last guy. Is he went down with one. Alright, I guess this this is his trail, the bike the bike track. Yeah. Look at her outfit. I knew that <laughs> my number one what fan would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. Her face. I believe in you. It is. The music's great. I'd laugh if you just took a shit. Deer turns around. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. Yeah, talking to the deer was funny. Love and destiny. He was meant to be mine. Always and forever. Now, there was no time to I lose. think that... I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested... Even when I'm shooting the gun? The stakes had never been higher. Yeah, the deer, I believe, was actually him. The evil brother is the bad boy. I have to get to that mansion before they hurt a single mahogany hair on my writer's head. Yeah, because remember how she was a big fangirl for Alan Wake in the first game? She had his pictures all over her wall in her bedroom. Talk to the bad boy. Nice pink mansion. There he is, the bad boy. So I think the bad boy is supposed to represent Mr. Scratch in this story, the darkness, Alan Wake. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my nose dirty. Jesus. Oh my god. The hell is he? I can't even get close to him. The hell is he? 
He's up there? Alright, I'm very confused right now. I don't know what to do here. Let's try the rifle because it's Whoops. Gotta put more bullets in. <laughs> it's better long range, but man, this thing takes forever to load. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Jesus, man. Like one hit, I'm almost dead. God damn it, these fucking reloads. Now you see the sexy monster within me. Yeah, but I'm afraid he's going to move too fast. Let's see what happens. I couldn't even see if he was still there. Now I lost him. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's a wolf again? Okay. I don't know where he went. He's not the wolf again. Dude, this is nuts. I don't like the getting knocked down. The punishment should be the damage, not the stun lock. Oh, what the fuck? The wolf is there double teaming me? Dude, this is crazy. Now there's two of them. Two wolves. Wasn't there? I didn't imagine that, right? There was a second one? Punishment is the damage! <laughs> yeah, there's definitely two. But I, I may have gotten rid of the black one. I only see the gray one now. I don't know. Quit hiding behind the car. That was terrible. Oh, the black one's back. So. Did the wolf just turn into the motorcycle? Holy shit, that was hard. Or I made it hard. I love her dialogue. Yeah, I don't know if that can did anything. I threw it, but I couldn't tell if he was still there when it landed. Go ahead. It did? Okay. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? chance I was just jealous of his talent his money his velvety hair yeah I love it I'm glad it it opened it opened up at this point 
<laughs> you could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be. That's what she said. And start wanting to be. <laughs> Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Look at her outfit. Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. <laughs> that was harder. I made it hard. <laughs> Reach the top floor of the mansion. What was the... Oh, it's bullets o'clock. That's my favorite line so far. What time is it? It's bullets o'clock. That was a brick. I thought that was ammo. His books make me feel dumb. My gun is hungry. That's the best refill one, I think. I wonder if these are, I wouldn't be surprised if these are legitimate fan comments about the first game. God damn, I'm trapped here. I got, I got trapped. Love never get, gives up. Like, I wonder if these are real hater comments that they put into the game. That would be funny. I gotta not get in that corner. Alright, this is where I got trapped, right? Champion of literature. I've read better cereal boxes that said... Oh, this guy. This is the guy that killed me. Alright, these two. What the hell with these two? Holy shit! All right, okay, they're both down. Yeah, I didn't notice that they came from upstairs the first couple times. Is that what they said? I missed that one. <laughs> I guarantee you there was, uh, that's something from the first game. That's hilarious. Yeah, they're making sure you got enough bullets. Confusing endings are not poignant. That's great. I think we're going upstairs. Pulpy trash. Dude, this gun is badass.
Is that where we're going? That writer isn't going to kiss himself. <laughs> I mean, save himself. Ideas for next book. A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a weapon. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is a nice little diversion from the main game. Of course, we're not we're not very far into the main game at all, I don't believe. But, uh, yeah, we'll get back to Alan Wake in the subway once this is over. But this is great. Let's heal. Let's reload the rifle in case we need it. I need to build my gun. Yeah, if they made a full game of this, I would get it. No one talks shit about her favorite writer. They'll feel her wrath. That's right. That's it's Rose from the first game. And rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself. The one where we went to her trailer and she had pictures all over the wall of him. And the darkness took her and she drugged us with the coffee. And protect him. She dipped him. And forever. <laughs> That was outstanding. And the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But it happens like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in night springs. That was great. A plus. A plus DLC right there. Love always wins. <laughs> so it's probably going to be a copyright, but this. What is this song, though? <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. This song doesn't fit the TV show. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I gotta look up this song. All right, it was made for the game, so I might not get a copyright for this. Obviously, with it being Night Springs. Performed by Kiera. Ke Kiera, I don't know. Is, is she a famous singer? <laughs> yeah, that was great. The solar system in your soup. This music is jamming. Kind of had like a little disco sound to it. That was great. All right, back to the seriousness. That was outstanding. 
A-plus.